Good morning and welcome to the office. I hope that you are well this morning. A phrase that keeps coming to me is this phrase, to be fully known and fully loved by the Father. 1 Corinthians 8 verse 3 says, whoever loves God is known by God. And earlier in verse 1 it says, knowledge puffs us up, but love builds us up. And so it's like, do you want to be famous or do you want to be loved? Well, here's the great thing. With God, you are famous. And with God, you are completely loved. Even though he knows every single thing you've ever done, you've ever thought about doing, you've ever thought about not doing, God knows it all and completely loves you. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 says, For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Although we don't completely know God yet, and although we don't completely understand God yet, He completely knows us now. He completely understands us now, and He completely loves us now today in this moment and in all of our moments he completely loves us now in verse 13 so that was first corinthians 13 verse 12 in verse 13 it says and now these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love hope is the goal setter hope is what we're we're hoping to achieve, we're hoping to get. Hope is our goal setter because faith is then the substance. We hear this in Hebrews 11. It's the substance of things hoped for. We had this goal, this hope of something. And then faith is the substance of that. It is the evidence of things not seen. And in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it tells us, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We need to be such people of, of being able to trust God. So we hope in things, we hope in him, we place our hope in him. But then as we are filled with the word of God, as we hear his voice, recognize that it's him and walk in faith, our faith then grows and it increases and it increases, allowing us to even go further in a deeper relationship with him and getting to know his love, to be loved by him and to love him even, even greater. So my friends, today I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to completely hope in the Lord. Completely trust him. Allow your faith to expand, but your faith comes from hearing his word. And if you're not sure how to hear the voice of the Lord, it starts with getting into the Bible, getting into the word, and you will start to recognize his voice speaking to you in his word, which allows your faith to expand. He has promised you many things, but you need to know what he said in order to walk forward in that faith. Have an amazing day and be faith-filled people with substance of what God has said and substance of what God is doing. Have an amazing day and God bless.